up y'all so it's your girl kaya and i'm not by myself but phil and the kids are in the car and i'm sorry if it's horrible lighting and i'm talking fast but i'm about to try to go in here and see if i can get some information about home because we're looking in a different neighborhood um because they have some cheaper options so i'll see y'all in the car all right y'all so i'm back in the car like promised um sorry i'm stuffed in my mouth i'm hungry Fresh. it's freaking what four or something and i haven't ate all day Neither has he. Don't come for us in the comments because we're breaking the rules a little bit, but we about to tour a house. Yeah, we just we just in the neighborhood. Yeah, we're in a neighborhood. We're literally driving. Literally driving right up the street, so that's why the kids are here with us. But we looked at a three bedroom, um, one level home, and it was super nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's smaller than what we had at first, but well, not had at first, but you know we went to go look at it first. But I mean, when house buying. You have to definitely keep your options open because definitely. some things you thought about at first that you might not like, you might like, and that's what we're doing now. So, I mean, it's like 20,000 cheaper than the one we wanted. So, hey, so listen, whatever we can save money, yeah, we gonna save money. yeah, we're gonna save that, especially when we got three kids. Gotta save money, gotta save money for these. So the one we're about to look at kind of is similar to the one we showed y'all already, but Mommy. it's just in a different neighborhood. These houses are so nice. The one we just looked at, y'all, might, might pull the trigger on one of them. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are at the commissary right now, y'all. The on base, the on base grocery store. You know, they got some cheaper things in here. Mostly, mostly like lemonade, meat. Bro. Oh, hold on, y'all. lemonade, bro. But yeah, so we here. We're looking for some beef ribs or some roast for tomorrow's dinner. And then after we leave out of here, we're gonna go to um, a house down in well, up in South Carolina. Um, it's the three bedroom plan we were looking at that we liked. So. We gonna we should be able to get in there and then give y'all a tour of that. Um, but other than that, man, we gonna see what else. We gonna see what else goes on today. Hi. So we are back home now. And we got Dad, Phil, Lee, and Baby Cash. And we really ate first and everything. <laughs> we were starving. Like I told y'all, we have not ate all freaking day. Mm -mm. We haven't eaten nothing. But we ready to. What we about to do? About to, you know. Uh, get downstairs ready. Let me go. On. Yes, y'all, because we didn't clean up. It looked terrible down here. Listen, parents with kids, y'all already know what it is with the house. Like, we can literally continue to keep cleaning it, and they're going to continue to mess it back up. I told y'all, man. It only, it only take about, like, 30 seconds for them to start messing it back up again. Like, it sucks. But we love our kids, so I'm willing to clean up for them, you know. I'm not. You I don't need to clean up I that much. Love. <laughs> no, he'll take the trash out and he'll do the dishes and occasionally, I, 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 and I he'll some, sweep. And I sometimes I give you that. Downstairs, but like, yeah, I tell you, but it's mostly. I feel, I feel like the kids. I feel like the kids are trying to sabotage me because I'll clean up more times than that. But every time she come back downstairs, it's still look a mess. And I just feel like <laughs> I, I can't do anything about. It. No, that's the thing about kids and toddlers. They they mess it up. Like this. And they, they, they be making me look bad. Kaya don't think I clean up at all. Like, bro. <laughs> but, y'all, during this video, you will see us cooking. Well, not cooking. Baking. <laughs> baking cookies with the kids. This is going to be interesting. And the worst part about it is this dough is edible. So, you know, Mira's going to be eating it. It might not be any cookies being made. <laughs> the dough going to be gone. And it's only 12 cookies. All right. But look, so. but look, y'all, also, I know I said we were going to, you know, go look at a house or something like that. But we'll save that for another video. 
uh, it got late, got dark outside, so we like, we just gonna do it tomorrow. So, yeah, just wanted to let y'all know. We ain't lie to y'all. We just, didn't. It got late, like he said. And then it was like 30 minutes away. Yeah. So, we won't be able to go all the way there and then run other errands, like get food and stuff. Yeah, it was too much. And then Baby Cash got hungry, so. Yep. But, yeah, y'all. So, we'll see y'all when it's time to bake cookies. <laughs> Mm. Let me see. <laughs> I can't believe he's about to be six months. All right. Let me see. On uh, Wednesday, y'all. Uh, Wednesday. Maybe six months. And then do a video all about him. Yeah, take y'all to it. Say, we're gonna do video early about him. And he got to go to the doctor that day, y'all. That freaking sucks. Like, that means he gonna get shots on his birthday. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, we are back with the kids. Say, hey, you two. Hey, you two. Look, come this, come back. Look. Say, hey, you two. Ooh, you okay? Look, say, hey, you two. Hey, you two. Okay. So, we got the cookies right here. I already started preheating the oven. We got Reynolds wrap and we got the little cookie sheet. So I'm gonna start putting the Reynolds wrap. Now it's trying to come out for some reason. Putting the Reynolds wrap on here. I probably made the Reynolds wrap too big. gonna wash the kids hands because you know kids yeah, hands are very dirty hands are like and, yeah and so we're gonna wash their hands and then we'll be back Tastes like. Yeah. Eat it. You don't want it? Uh, drop. Here. 
Or do you taste like Mimi? Okay. You can taste it, Dad, if you want to taste it. Taste good? Don't mind my mom belly all over this one. It's beautiful. Thank you, baby. Okay. So now, y'all, because I think I left the cookie dough out too long, so it's kind of like falling apart. So we just gonna go ahead and cookie these cookies in the oven, and then we'll see y'all. But I think you have to cook them for like no, don't do it. We have you have to cook them for 14 to 16 minutes, and then let them cool for five. So we'll see y'all in a minute because it's not gonna look like 14 minutes, y'all. But yeah, we'll see y'all. All right, y'all. So while we wait for the cookies, I'm gonna actually put the uh, most highly requested video in the same video as this vlog. Okay. So, um, I keep in this question, right? What don't they tell you about pregnancy? Right. Okay. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, chill with my ladies. Cheers, get you some wine, get you some juice, get you some soda, whatever. I know y'all can hear the kids in the background, like, but I got me some 18 honey Cheers. Okay, so how do I start? Okay, so basically what I didn't know before I got pregnant was how the trimesters work and how the months work. Like, they don't really like go in depth and tell you about all that stuff. Like I always had to look up how many months is what trimester and so forth and so forth, right? Okay, like I was saying, y'all had to go be a mom. Um, so yeah, they don't really like go in depth with that, like the first time, the second time, the third time, like what, how many months you are and which, you know. So that's one thing, right? Second thing, they don't tell you how sleepy you get when you're pregnant, okay? You be tired from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, right? Like literally, you could take a nap, wake up and be tired still. You just keep being tired. And they don't tell you how bad it gets in the third trimester. Like, I swear, in my third trimester of each pregnancy, I slept, like, all freaking day. Not all day, but, of course, because I had R and then I had Mir, and then I had, you know. So, I slept basically when I could. Like, oh, my God. I was so hyped when my kids used to nap, bro. Like, I used to be like, I can get me a nap, blah, blah, blah. So, it was, it was, it was terrible. Especially... Being a mom with other kids, you can't sleep like you want to sleep, and I used to be so exhausted. Okay, another thing they didn't tell you about blood pressure spikes. Okay, so me personally, when I'm pregnant, my blood pressure is always in the 130s, which my doctor tries to like be like a little weird about it. Like, my freaking blood pressure could be like two or three over, right? And he'll try to say, Oh this that and the third like you need medicine you this and that i don't need anything of that okay I have a G -O okay Hallelujah. So, that is one thing they don't tell you about because i thought i was still going to be like completely normal with my vital signs and stuff like that but your blood pressure will spike now this is not everybody but most black women i know your blood pressure does spike sometimes and you have like up and down and then that's another thing most black women get preeclampsia while they're pregnant. So preeclampsia is when you have a really high blood pressure and it can affect you and the baby and cause strokes, it can cause um, death even. So you have to take that really seriously. Like if you have preeclampsia, please take it easy. We don't want you, we don't want nothing happening to you or the baby, we don't want you in the hospital, none of that. Oh, okay. Also, sorry, but fellas, if you, especially if you go to like all the appointments and stuff like that, make sure you look at like her average um, blood pressure when she goes in there. Because sometimes if she eats or anything before she goes to the doctor, it'll be like significantly higher. So that is true. just make sure you pay attention. And like if it is higher and the doctor says something, just make sure you're there. You can, you can help her out if she forgets to let them know and stuff like that. Man. Literally, like one time, I went and I ate a sub before I went with some like Lay's original chips, which you know they are really salty, and my blood pressure was high. And then they took it again, and it was like lower, like 30 minutes 
after they took the first one. So, yeah, that, that, that's how that happens. And then another thing they don't tell you is you don't have to listen to everything the doctor says. So what I mean by that is I don't mean like if it's some serious stuff and you just don't listen to them, you be like you defiant basically and not listening to them. Basically, what I mean is don't let doctors try to push um, C-sections on you. Don't let doctors push medicines on you. Don't let doctors push health problems on you. And don't let your doctor control you or your baby when it comes to your birth, your de like delivery, um, your prenatal care. You vouch for you. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Because my personal experience... When I first had Ari, right, my water broke. Now, I was at home fine. I didn't feel any contractions, nothing. My mom was panicking because at the time, Phil was in basic training, so she wasn't there. But my mom was panicking. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I feel fine. You do not have to go straight to the hospital unless you are bleeding. Then I will go to the hospital. But if your water breaks and you don't feel any contractions, you're not in active labor. Um, it could take out several hours before you go into active labor. So once you feel contraction for at least like a minute, let's say three minutes to five minutes, like once they're that long, then you want to go to the hospital. Um, also you can get a app, it's called Contraction um, Timer. Um, to track your contractions and it will tell you when you should go to the hospital. Now, you don't have to go by that app at all. You can literally like time them yourself and go from there basically. But yeah, once your contractions last for a longer period of time, I'm sorry y'all, my kids are in the back. Um, once your contractions start lasting for a while, then that's when you want to go to the hospital. Alright y'all, so had to get the noise under control because I want y'all to be able to hear me. Um, especially if there's any like expectant mothers, I want to help you out because I didn't really have that help until I found my doula. I love her. She's amazing. If you're in the Augusta Atlanta area, please, please, please hit my girl up. That is my girl. She was like a part of my family. But anyways, that's another thing. They don't tell you anything about doulas. They don't tell you anything about midwives. They tell you nothing. They don't tell you anything about none of that stuff. I didn't even know what that was until one day I just started like researching on on Instagram and I think a doula came across my um, Instagram feed and then that's when I started looking up doulas in my area and I found my doula which she's amazing like I said I keep saying it and I'm continue to say it okay, but she was amazing like she gave me so much insight on things I did not know um, she was just like besides feel she was like my right hand and like, she could tell me anything that I need to know before Really, I'm not gonna say before the doctor could, but she kind of like had experience with stuff. So, you know, I would go to her more so for things. And then she would tell me, oh, I think I would do this, or I think I would get your doctor to like evaluate it because I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice. Like, you know. So, yeah, she was amazing with that. Um, but. Yeah, back to the thing I was talking about with the delivery. So, um, like I said, my water had broke. My mom's panicking. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to go to the hospital right away. You can labor at home for a little bit. And then once your contractions um, get longer, then, you know, and they come in more frequently, then that's when you should go to the hospital. Okay? Um, but when I was having her... Um, so I feel like I didn't get to birth the way I wanted to because I wanted to do her natural as well. But it didn't work out like that because my labor was 16 hours with her. And the doctor pushed me to get Pitocin, which you do not have to get that. You don't have to get that. You can labor your way. And I know that now. And that's why with both of my sons, I had them natural. No Pitocin, no epidural, no medicine, nothing. Um, so anyways... They pushed that on me and they were like, let's get the contractions started, let's get it going further along, or we will have to give you a C-section. Which I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not getting a C-section, right? So, me being like a first time mom, first time being pregnant, I didn't know anything. I was like, okay. And then my mom personally, she had a C-section as well and she got Pitocin as well. So, she probably was thinking the same thing, like, 
Just listen to whatever the doctor says. Okay, y'all, I'm back. We had to get the kids straight. <laughs> See, when you're a parent, you have to always get the kids straight. But anyways, so, yeah. Like I was saying, my mom probably thought like the same thing, like listen to whatever the doctor says type of thing. But with her, I did get the epidural. I was like pretty like upset that I got it, but it was fine as long as she was okay. And then when she came out, we didn't even know that um, the umbilical cord was wrapped around her leg. So I think that's probably why she's having a hard time like coming out and stuff. Um, and her heart rate kept dropping. So I'm just glad she's fine. She's okay. She's almost three years old. So, of course, yes, yeah, she's fine and everything. She's a blessing. She's our rainbow baby. Um, and she's like the smartest, cutest kid ever. But, yeah. So, just advocate for yourself, I would say, because I advocated for myself a lot during my pregnancies with my sons. Um, I definitely didn't listen to everything the doctor said. Like, I remember with Cashton, he tried to put me on blood pressure medicine, and I was not going for that. I said, absolutely not, because my blood pressure, like I told y'all, the blood pressure will be an up and down thing. Like, it, it, it is what it is that happens. And I was pregnant with him during the summer, so it's hot as I don't know what. Of course, the blood pressure thing is going to, like, do that. But... I did not take any blood pressure medicine and my blood pressure was fine even during labor, even after labor, like during the rest of my pregnancy, my blood pressure was fine. And so even my mom and grandma and Phil told me don't take the blood pressure medicine. And then they tried to put me on aspirin and all this stuff. So I didn't take any of that of that stuff because I didn't feel comfortable because I didn't want my body to get used to it and then I have to continue to keep taking it after I have him. So we were fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do. And then another thing they don't tell you about pregnancy. Don't buy a whole bunch of newborn and zero to three months clothes, okay? Because the baby is not going to be a newborn for a long time or zero to three months, okay? So don't keep buying a whole bunch of newborn clothes because you're going to be giving them away or you're going to be trying to get your money back, okay? <laughs> so, what else, y'all? What else? Um, That's another thing they don't tell you. Hmm, I can't think of nothing else. I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, no, they don't tell you about that last trimester, okay? In the last trimester of pregnancy, you are always freaking tired, you don't get comfortable, you cannot sleep. They don't tell you about the pregnancy insomnia. Like, I used to stay up till like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning just for no reason because I couldn't sleep. Like, I couldn't get comfortable, none of it. Like, they don't tell you nothing about that. I did not know that you would be, first of all, body hurting. Then you can't get comfortable, like, oh my gosh. They don't tell you any of those things before you get pregnant. And then, what's another thing? Okay, this is going to be my last thing. They don't tell you that you won't have as much support as you did when you weren't pregnant. I have lost so many friends along the way. And that really showed me who was truly in my life for me. And not just, you know... For the me that didn't have kids and was free all the time. Like, they showed me, it really showed me. Sorry, y'all, my son is like running his chair into the. It's fine. But, um, they don't tell you about that. Like, they don't tell you about how you lose friends because you can't go out with them. You can't, like, you know, do the same thing you were doing when you weren't a mom. So, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, I have my village. They know who they are, I have my friends, I have family, I have, you know, people close to me that I really love and that I'm continuing to love for the rest of my life. Um, but yeah, so y'all, we're going to get these cookies out of the oven because they're done and I don't want them to burn and we're going to get the kids' reaction to them. Alright y'all, so the cookies are done. As you can see, this one is messed up because our dear son... This middle child of ours, he has middle child syndrome. He so he didn't want to wait and he freaking grabbed the cookie while it was hot and he, you know, burnt his tongue. But it's fine. Um, I'm going to let him eat that one. So we're going to let y'all see their reaction. So guys, turn around. Can you turn around? Okay. Look, turn around. <laughs> Look at the camera. Look at the camera. 
Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Mir. Ready for y'all cookie? Hold on, don't eat it yet. Don't eat it don't yet. Eat it. But no. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna count to three, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, Lois. One, two, three, go. Go. Eat, eat it. You gonna eat it? Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Is it good, Arby? Yeah. Huh? Oh my, you don't like it? You don't like it? Turn around. Daddy talking to you. Look at Daddy. Is it, is it good? Get it? You like it? It doesn't sound like it. Right? It doesn't. And it's chocolate. Say what? Okay, let me talk to you. Honestly, it really does not taste like anything. Maybe we should have got the Lucky Charms ones, y'all. We'll, we'll try that for y'all next time. Yeah. If y'all like this series, let us know down in the comment section. Eat your cookie, buddy. Does anybody else's son have to like touch every single thing? Possible. Yeah. Or a kid in general? Feel reaction, y'all, because I don't think it tastes like anything. Look, daddy, stay hot. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all see his face? Not bad, but they're rip off. It tastes like nothing, honestly. I think our son is putting his cookie in the toaster. <laughs> so we'll handle that and be back, y'all. All right, y'all. So it's the next day. Um, you know, we had this problem like last time. We don't end the video off man like we're supposed to but i mean after the cookies and everything like that it got a little bit hectic so we just kind of forgot and went to bed but um you know what i'm saying uh it's okay because even though that video might have been a little bit shorter or whatever it might not actually be that short i don't know i won't know till i finish editing but either way um you know, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I hope the ladies, y'all got a whole bunch of um, knowledge and insight out of that. Because Kaya is a pro, pretty much, you know. Um, also, fellas, if y'all want, like, a, you know what I'm saying, like a dad's point of view or like a supporting uh, partner's point of view or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll drop a basically a part two to that video. Um, but... Yeah, man. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share it. Make sure y'all turn that bell on so y'all know when we got other bangers dropping. And y'all, we had what? We had 241 subscribers right now, man. So we almost have. So we basically halfway there to 500, right? And today is the 21st. We got nine days, nine, 10 days to come up with 500 subscribers so we can do that giveaway i know y'all want it so make sure we get to 500 subscribers so we can do this giveaway man um but yeah other than that we're gonna see y'all in the next video